All right, uh, I'm going to go over to Ian. Ian, what is your topic? Well, uh, I kind of want to go over um, what are the, when you were growing up, what is a scary movie that kind of gave you nightmares and uh, uh, freaked you out when you were a kid? Um, to kind of start it off, one was definitely Freddy Krueger. Uh, freaked me out when his hand came through the bed. Uh, of the girl that was sleeping, I thought that was gonna happen to me almost every night. And, uh, <laughs> Would you be afraid to fall asleep? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd start like kind of waking myself up. Um, plus, I had an older brother that really didn't help. Um, oh. Yeah, he tormented me. Um, but uh, I, I would say that, and then also uh, Chucky. I know he's just a little doll, but he it would freak me out. Chucky, uh, I, I would have him chasing me in my dreams and everything, trying to get away from him. <laughs> Um, there was one, there was one where both of them were in my dream chasing me and it was the most terrifying thing I ever had in my life. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, I had much older siblings, so I was kind of, uh, exposed to a lot of bad things at a young age. So I saw all those rated R movies and everything when I was yeah. little. Um, oh, man. yeah. So, uh, Clay, what, did you have one that freaked you out? I do, I absolutely do. So, how many of you guys are familiar with Amityville Horror? Mm. Oh, yeah. 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 Love that movie. Not the oh, one with Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> like the, the old, yeah, the, the original. original. Yeah. Yeah. Steve's saying he loves that movie. Fuck I Ryan. fucking loathe that movie. Like, that movie <laughs> is like, oh my god, that thing is scared. The god. Cr so, here's the deal. <laughs> Me and one of my best friends, Mike, we have been best friends since second grade, right? Ever since then, you know, you, you have those sleepovers and you guys like, that's what you do as, as like young, young children, you guys have sleepovers. So, but our shtick was not only that we would play games all day, but we would also go to Blockbuster and then for whatever reason, we would always get like the scariest movie we can find. And so we started, we got a couple scary movies like Leprechaun and stuff like that and yeah. whatever, that stuff's goofy. Then we went on to Mike Myers and that was great, man. I saw Halloween. Halloween 2, Halloween 3, which is crazy because Mike Myers is not in there. It's a totally different like story, but it's yeah. like, worse. Yeah. I wouldn't. I don't spoiler know, alert. Just, yeah. Well, <laughs> spoiler alert. Uh, sorry. Spoiler alert. If you haven't <laughs> seen that movie, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, it's, yeah. It's your fault. You're like 30 years late. So, and then, and then you know, we saw Halloween 4, 5, whatever. And then, we, and then eventually we were like, okay, now what? And the interesting thing is that my mom, of all people, mentioned that we should probably go check out Amiibo Horror. And we're in like... Man, I want to say we've got to be in fourth grade, fifth grade at this point. Like, no I don't like, know what my no mom is thinking. She's like saying that you should go, recommending that you should go watch that no, movie. Oh yeah, yeah she's absolutely <laughs> no, recommending this. No, not in this. fourth or fifth. I think your mind's gotta, you got like your memory's gotta be a little skewed, bro. <laughs> All right, maybe we're That'd be in so scary. Man, okay, okay, you're right. Maybe we're in seventh grade. Max, maybe oh, Max seventh grade. No, I'm dead okay. serious. I think it's, it's an Max older seventh film. grade. It's it, it well you know it wasn't it, it's not like it just came out it was right, it was in right. blockbuster for a while but the reason why she remembers Amityville Horror so vividly not only yeah. is it scary um, but sh that movie the town takes place in somewhere in California however they filmed it in my hometown and so oh. the house actually is there you know and, and they they filmed it when my mom was a waitress a true story. At, 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 at this restaurant and the actors actually came in at one point and she waited on a, a bunch of them so Amityville Horror 1 and 2 uh, oh man. and so we watched Amityville Horror 1 and that was pretty dang scary yeah. but then we watched Amityville Horror 2 and this movie man this movie freaked me out like like it had ripple effects on my future of just like how I sleep like just what I'm afraid of what freaks me out because behind you the, yeah, because <laughs> the, the story, like, it's, okay, so for those of you who don't know, Annieville Horror is a story about a house that was built on, this is spoilers, by the way, built on an Indian burial ground, and because of that, uh, it's, it's haunted, and has, like, direct links to Satan, Hell, Devil, all that jazz, and so this family moves in, it basically starts, like, creeping, there's, like, a bunch of flies, She's like, what the hell is this, they start hearing stuff, like, the blood is dripping from the walls like oh god <laughs> we're out of here so they run right and then the second movie is about okay we found this amazing house why is it so cheap who cares honey let's just move in so they move in they have like a, a, a son they have a daughter and then they have a younger son and slowly this house starts just playing everyone against them like there's a cold draft in the basement 
they're seeing like weird things. Rocking chairs are rocking, hearing voices. Um, and the devil possesses the oldest son. And he starts doing like crazy messed up stuff. Like he's just, he's arguing his dad. He, he has sex with his sister. Like he, at <laughs> one crap. point, like, th- like all of the stuff is just going nuts. And, and it all, like the whole thing comes to a gi- like gi- uh, gigantic climax uh, where the son and the father and everybody's screaming at each other. And the father like brings out the shotgun and just points it to his like son, like ready to blow his son's head off. And it's just so like crazy, crazy, just like violent that I like, I ran over like Mike and I are like sitting here, like we're freaking out. I run over and I just like slam the stop button on the like VCR, and I was like, "We should stop." And he's like, "Yeah." He's like, "Let's <laughs> yeah. forget this." And like, we just don't watch any more of this because it was just way too scary. And like, I think the next day we ended up finishing it. But since then, I've just been deathly afraid of possession and anything like devil-related, religious, like kind of stuff. Because like, it's one thing about like serious, like that serial killer stuff. Like, it's goofy. Like that stuff doesn't like monsters. They don't really bother me. But like, there's yeah. been odd like gray area documentaries based on possession and like like weird spiritual shit, like ghosts that. Like, I'm not convinced it's not real. Like, I'm not convinced it is real, but it's enough for me to just wonder and freak myself out at night. Yeah. Gotcha. That's my shtick. <laughs> Steven, I, you got one? I can, how many horrors scary, man? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm, like, scary. a huge scary movie buff. I love scary movies. Yeah, he is. Um, uh, yeah, I, what brought me back, like, see, Freddy never got to me. Uh, I actually like that one, Wes Craven. Awesome. Um, I... Uh, Chucky, Dolls always got me, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Ian. Like, Dolls always got me. Like, to this day, I still don't like Dolls. Like, I just don't like Dolls for some reason. They still freak Fuck me dolls. out. Like, I'll put them, like, underneath the pillow or something. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> but, um... Suffocate Yeah, so, like, I guess Child's Play and everything like that. Um, the, the thing is, is, uh... Yeah, the Amityville Horror, like, those kind of possession movies, I guess they didn't really get to me either. Like, I, I like The Haunting Connecticut. That was a good one. Um, my recent most uh, scary film, though, that, that brought me back to when I was a kid, like, made me, like, actually, like, sit there and think about stuff afterwards and, like, get freaked out, was The Babadook. It came out. I don't know if you guys have seen it or heard oh, about it. Yeah. It hasn't gotten a lot of... Uh, what is it called? It's called The Babadook, man. And it came out, I think it came out, like, two years ago. And I couldn't it believe that I didn't scary. hear... I couldn't believe <laughs> I didn't hear about this movie, right? Like, this movie uh-huh. brought me back, like... I, I just seen it last year. Actually, yeah, it was last year. Um, it brought me back to like that creepy feeling when you're a kid again. Like I was just like I was so freaked out when I was watching it, and afterwards I was just like, I do. It's like I, I recommend you see it. Like if you want to get scared again, like <laughs> movies don't scare me like in yeah. a long time, but this movie actually scared me, and I'm grown. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it was freaky. It's just a freaky ass movie. I don't know how to explain it. I say it's a cross between Amityville Horror meets Han in Connecticut meets like meets like Possession. Like it was just it was like no. dude, it was like it, I'm telling you, you gotta watch it. I'm not doing it's it. Like, I'm not gonna but, do it. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm not gonna <laughs> watch it. Yeah, but no, no, Child's Play definitely got me when I was younger. I remember um, my uh, my little stepbrother uh, Paul, he had an actual Child's Play doll, oh, and Jesus. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't Chucky though. It was just a Child's Play doll. So like you know like the like he's all happy and everything. Dude, I remember. Stuff. Wait, yeah. It wasn't Chucky. It was a child's play doll. What does that mean? Uh, well, you know how like they 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 came off the line and they were like they're supposed to be good boy dolls or something. I think they're yeah, called. Yeah, good boy dolls. Yeah. Yeah, you remember? And like they 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 just look normal. You know what I mean? And then that's how Chucky Chucky was Chucky was actually originally a serial killer. He right. went into that that thing and they got possession of a doll, and that's how he all looked all weird and like scraped oh, up. Oh wow. But anyways. Okay, so- yeah, so like he had one, and I remember I was so freaked out. I think I was like, dude, I was like ten or eleven, honestly. Dude, I still got freaked out. I remember stuffing that thing underneath like the toy chest and like looking at it <laughs> all night, like just rolled over, like looking at it all night. Just, <laughs> like and I looked at it, my mind was playing tricks on me. Like I look, I'm like, dude, that lid just fucking moved. Like so, I I went in there, like I I got, dude, I like hyped myself up so bad. I remember I ran over as quick as possible, grabbed the fucking doll, ran out, ran out in the freaking living room, put it on the couch, right? And uh, ran back in the room, locked the door, and just like stayed up like all night. I just looking, like there's a little light peering through, and I, I thought I saw a shadow move. Dude, 
dude, I got so freaked out. I peeked out. The doll wasn't there. Oh, yeah? The doll wasn't there. It turns out my stepmom at the time grabbed the dog. She didn't know what it was doing. But, like, dude, I was freaking out all night. I was thought I was going to get killed. Like, it was gone. It was gone, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to die. I'm going to die. die. So, like, yeah, that was, my, that was my freaky story from when I was younger. But, yeah, definitely the Babadook. You guys got to watch that. No joke. There, there was a time when I was a kid really quick. I wanted to tell the story. Like, I was... Man, at night, I would have to run, like, it would be all dark, and for whatever reason, like, I was doing homework in the living room, and I had to sharpen my pencil, and you, like, it's obvious, like, everybody can relate to the fact of, like, going from the basement upstairs, like, you just, you just run up those stairs because you're so afraid of something grabbing you. Well, I had to go into this, like, dark hallway all the way down to, like, the door and make a left into my room to sharpen my damn pencil, and my window was open, and the, where we lived at the time was really, really, like, heavy traffic. So I walked over and I was just like so apprehensive about this. I was like, Shh, you know, fuck it. I'll run over. I will sharpen my pencil and I'll be done. And I ran in there and like I went to go sharpen my pencil. And as like right before I'm sharpening the pencil, a truck must have been like driving down the street. It just honked so loud. And I like, oh. I flipped the pencil up and I was so damn frightened that I was trying to scream off the top of my lungs. But because I was so scared and the wind was like taking from me, I was running like that and nothing was coming out. I ran all the way through the hallway, around the corner through the kitchen, like, and then Team like America. finally, yeah. finally I was, and then like I was oh. able to get something out, but I, I was so afraid I couldn't, I couldn't dude, even like. My dad, my dad would mess with me so bad, dude. Like he, I, I love my dad. He, my, he would. Uh, he would know I'm scared. He would, he would purposely tell me, uh, Stephen, go get something from the garage. And I'll be like, okay. And my mom would be in the room, right? And I, and I open the door, and the, and the light doesn't work in the garage. So, like, I'm like, I'm like, all right, you know. No. So, like, I'm going out there all of a sudden. As soon as I open the door, he'd go, Rawr! like that. And I'm like, stop. And then my mom would be like, stop doing that to him. You're doing it. He'd start cracking up laughing. He'd be like, no, seriously. He'd get serious on me, knowing what he's going to do. He's like, just give me it or you're in trouble or something like that, you know. <laughs> and I started, like, kind of getting teared up and I'd run in there and he'd be like ah! and I'd be like stop it you know what I'm <laughs> and he would get so sick he'd start dying laughing and then he would get serious again and he'd be like no go get it seriously I don't want to do it anymore I don't want to do it anymore and then he would just keep doing it but it was, it was just freaking hilarious oh, a, a good scaring story um, uh, I, I grew up playing football and uh, uh, the football belts had like the metal into it like two metal hooks and mm -hmm. uh, um, we had a gr like think of like a garage but when the house was originally built, it was just a big, we called it the playroom. Uh, that's when my dad had his big screen TV and everything. But there was a doorway and a wall. So I heard my mom out there, and I used to love scaring everyone. So uh, it's late at night. It's like 930 at night. And I'm, I'm hiding against the wall like this, and I hear my mom come walking out, and I jump out. I go, ah! And she had the belt, and she got so scared that she whipped it around. Boom! Right in my face. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, like you I, lose I, a tooth? No, I didn't. I didn't. But I had like a bloody mouth, and I was crying because I think I was like eight years old, and Whoa. I'm crying and laughing at the same time. And I'm <laughs> with blood coming out of my mouth. That's hilarious. I like remember this story too, faint, like vaguely, because like I remember you telling me when we were walking to the school bus one day. Yeah, that's hilarious. Uh, so Morocco. scary, man. Scary stuff. Whew, I was scared shitless, like you, Elon. And it was a, uh, it was a. Uh, Freddy Cougar for me. Yeah. Really? It was like like that whole scene, I remember it very distinctively. I was sitting there watching the the TV and my dad was outside mowing the grass. The age I was probably I was extremely young. I was somewhere between six and eight at the time. Um, I was able to know how to I, I was able to maneuver through the, the cable controller, but it's not like I knew anything of what I was gonna watch. So I ended up ending up on <laughs> Freddy Cougar and the Nightmare of Elm Street mm -hmm. when I'm between six and eight years old and my dad's out doing his own thing so there's no parent parental supervision saying like oh don't watch that don't watch that you know um, and uh, I'm watching the scene I'm finding out that he can talk through phones and lick your face which is terrifying because now I'm like anytime I get on the phone this guy can come right through it <laughs> I'm finding out he lives in your dreams I'm like this is even scarier I can't go to sleep <laughs> <laughs> Rocco, he can only do that when you're sleeping, I thought. Is it, right, a... right. 
But you, but you, you see, see, so, so being, you so being, a, being a kid, oh. right? I'm watching this and, and I'm just seeing the scenes happen. But I'm also understanding that he's he can do this in your in your dreams. Now I'm not seeing that he can only do it in your dreams. I'm just seeing that he can do this shit, and then he also does it in your dreams. <laughs> like, oh, oh yeah. shit. Oh, man. <laughs> he's, he's around all the time. So yeah. not, not even that, even if it's just in your dreams. Being that young, that's really scary. Because so it's like any time I wanted to go to bed for years, I was terrified. Like, I replayed that scene of the, the, the spikes coming right underneath the bed and his stomach exploding up against the ceiling. That, for me, yeah. I had bunk beds, and I would hold on because I was bottom bunk, I would hold on <laughs> the top bunk and just hold myself until I passed out. And I could not, like, keep myself awake anymore. I'd eventually fall, but, like, uh, sometimes I'd wake, <laughs> sometimes I wouldn't. <laughs> and if I didn't, I'd get uh, a night's sleep. And if I did uh, wake up, I would have to redo it again because I was that terrified of Freddy Krueger. Oh, um, my God. And you notice that Rocco it's, said he never went to his parents or anything because his dad would immediately tell him to go back to bed and stop being pissed. Go back to bed. Go, to bed, go back to bed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, it's this terrifying. He's for real. <laughs> yeah, so not just that, but I don't know if you guys remember this one or not. Um, I went to a sleepover, uh, Vinny and Gargiola's house, and this guy, uh, man, okay, he awesome friend and stuff, but his parents played for us Pet Cemetery. Oh with my a whole God, group of oh, <laughs> with no a joke. whole group that of us no football joke. kids. I still and that seen was it. the scariest movie ever. That is so they're, that's more they're Indian animals burial are dying, ground stuff. And they, dude, why do they, the Indians they bury always them have to make inside like of the? It's a cat, I believe. Uh, buries them inside of a pet cemetery. That eventually they come back to life, and yep. uh, they're evil. They're super evil, and they will fuck your shit up. And they, and they, they, they son, oh. and, and eventually their son gets killed by a car hits them or something like that. They bury yeah. the kid. They realize that it brings them back to life. They bury the kid. The kid comes back and to life. Freaking, it's the scariest oh, shit God. ever, dude. And dude, you just yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry, man. This was so scary because it was like we were. There was a bunch of little kids, all boys, just sitting there watching them. I'm calling my mom, like, "Mom, pick me the fuck up!" <laughs> I'm like, I am not sleeping at this motherfucking house tonight. Like, I'm gonna eat their Cheetos, some of their candies. They got some scary ass movies, and I want to sleep in my bed, cuddling my mama because this is scary. You know, Pet Cemetery got me, man. But but not as bad as uh, as Freddy Krueger. That one you- that one haunted me for years. Dude, like, that reminds serious. me of that reminds me of the poltergeist. I was gonna say the poltergeist. Dude, yeah. like, like honestly, Racist. that's that. I was so scared of clowns forever. When that one clown part, you guys remember that in the poltergeist? Yeah. Where the yeah. clown comes alive and like sucks him under and everything like that. And, oh. yep. that was pretty scary too. Yeah. Mine, mine was uh, when the girl's uh, braces like overcame her did you ever see that part oh my god yeah it was crazy i was like i'm never gonna have braces i'm gonna have the crookedest teeth in the world <laughs> <laughs> really? it wasn't the clown the clown got me man that was yeah. freaking weird man. well i mean have you seen it yeah i was gonna no, say no no i've never storm seen drain. it i've never yeah. done your storm drains uh-uh nope no going no. Nope. no i've you never think- seen it i've never seen it i've never seen pet cemetery uh, dude pet yeah, cemetery is no oh, joke that is yeah, scary yeah. shit yeah no. yeah I haven't seen it either. I think, you know, obviously the Pet Cemetery, like I was explaining. But it, I haven't no, heard I, any mention of Jason or... Yeah, Jason Yeah, because, I mean, it wasn't like... Blair Witch Project. <laughs> no. Oh, I, me and Rocco actually saw that together. That's pretty scary. Yeah. It was me, Rocco, and Jake, and your dad, right? Uh, Rocco. Something like that, yeah. It was... Uh, it was it was actually it was a little scary. It was cool. I liked the way they had shot it because when they shot it at that time, nobody had shot a movie like that, so everybody was questioning whether it was real or not. Yeah, yeah. Like, I it was like, real. Is, that is, was the biggest thing. Is the Blair like is the Blair Witch a real thing? Like, holy <laughs> shit! I think these guys really got killed, like putting together this movie. <laughs> now, I, I want to throw it old school. Uh, did you guys ever see uh, uh, Tales from the Crypt? Yeah, uh, HBO's yeah. Tales. From yeah. The yeah, yeah. The the guy popping out. Oh. My brother and I, I was probably like six years old. We used to watch it, and it would freak me out all the time. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And uh, the Goosebump series. I love oh. it. It's obviously a lot more tamed down. <laughs> Go watch that series now. It is so funny. Yeah. It is, is it? so funny. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. Well, that stuff is watching, hilarious. watching like Child's Play and everything. I watch that now, I think yeah. it's hilarious. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, well you know what's really same. funny is that I was talking to my wife about this earlier, and she goes, hey, do you remember the Nickelodeon show uh, – um, are you afraid, are you of, the afraid dark? of the dark? <laughs> yeah. 
So we I rewatched that too. That is awesome. It's yeah. really fun to see. It's a bunch of Canadians oh, from like Denmark. Was... <laughs> it's re- it's 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 hysterical. Where's Alan? It's a bunch of Canadians yeah. in Denmark. <laughs> it's a bunch of Canadians in Denmark talking about stories around the campfire. It's corny. <laughs> also, one... acting. Oh, horrible acting. But Ian... also, yeah, go. Oh, ahead. Sorry, go ahead, Steve. I just said I also want to throw in there Evil Dead. That freaked me out too when I first I watched that. Saw it back then. Oh yeah. Yeah, that just it was creepy. The girl in the basement. Popping her head up, going, "You're all gonna die." It was just dude. It was, <laughs> it's I a possession movie. It's a possession movie. So you, you gotta watch yeah. that. Nope. Well, uh, I wanted to let you guys know um, a really funny, funny uh, kind of scary movie is Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Have you seen that? No. You guys gotta watch it. It's it's uh, it's actually it's hilarious, but it, it's a, it's a uh, a scary movie, and it's a good movie too. Um, the basis is these two guys bought this house out in the woods. Um, and the one guy's kind of fat and the other guy, you've actually seen him in some like movies, but, uh, um, he sees these group of college kids and they're going out to like, you know, have some fun, like for the summer and stuff like that. And they look creepy, but they're just normal guys. And like, they keep seeing them do all these like weird things. And like, just from their perspective, they're doing normal stuff, but it looks really odd. And, uh, the one guy tries to tackle the other one and he gets fed into a wood chipper. (laughs) Oh. And he's trying to pull him out, but it looks like he's shoving him in. It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> this is a real life fear of mine, like in <laughs> life. I have a wood chipper out here in the property, and like it's so nerve wracking. Exactly, it's so nerve wracking because you're like, if anything snags and I go in, it's game over. <laughs> like, I've seen way too many movies of this. I know exactly what happens. I'm not doing this shit. <laughs> you throw him Dude. twenty yards away.